Oh, I'm eating chicken and rice once again. Oh my God. I actually think it works. So we see these celebrities put on heaps of muscle for perhaps roles that they're doing in a movie. And that when they're being asked how they undertook such crazy body transformations in such a short window of time, often they respond with, I just ate chicken, broccoli, and rice. If they can make so much progress just by sticking to a simple diet, I wanted to find out how sticking to eating chicken, broccoli, and rice for every meal for a week would affect my weight, would affect my my gains, my strength in the gym, how I felt, and also the obvious one, how I look. So I'm gonna be sticking to a strict chicken, broccoli, and rice diet for an entire week, so for lunch and dinner, and I'm gonna see how that affects my physique. So I've got two pieces of chicken chicken thigh and this will be my first meal of just eating chicken, broccoli and rice at every meal for a whole week. So I've got the rice here now. Um, also another thing of this is, of course I wanna track the macros on what I'm eating. So I've done the math. So one container of chicken thigh and five pieces of chicken thigh. That weighs 800 grams. So on average, each chicken thigh piece is 160 grams. On Google, it says that each chicken thigh for every 100 grams of chicken thigh, there's 24 grams of protein. So on average, each chicken thigh piece is 160 grams. On Google, it says that each chicken thigh for every 100 grams of chicken thigh, there's 24 grams of protein. So 60 out of 100 is three bits. So, so per piece, you've obviously got 160 grams. So 24 plus three bits of 24, roughly 15. So roughly 35 grams of protein per piece of chicken thigh. So I've eaten two today. So 70 grams of protein there which come to think of it is quite crazy. Like I probably ate maybe a bit over 300 or maybe almost 400 calories. And to think there was 70 grams of protein in that, like chicken is just like, I wanna, that's why I wanna eat it every meal, bro. Like if you see me in Malay kitchen, you ain't seeing me not eating the roast chicken. Like it's just so optimal. Um, also the rice that I'm eating now, I've also got to calculate the macros on that. BRB. So the rice was a lot simpler to calculate. Only just over 100 calories in um, a bit over half a cup of rice. So total of the meal, I believe, was just over 500 calories. And it had it come, my fitness pal had the protein come in at 65 grams, I believe. So a bit under the 70 grams that uh, Google would have said, but we'll go with what my fitness pal says. So 65 grams of protein for roughly 500 calories, not too bad. So I decided for four dinners, I'll put some greens in because otherwise I'm not gonna be able to take it properly. So I've decided to go with broccoli. I've never actually cooked broccoli in my life. So I've just got some broccoli here. I'm putting in boiling water. That should be some sufficient greens to go along with the chicken and rice. Just to ensure I'm getting sufficient calories in, I've got three chicken thighs here instead of two that we had at lunch. So that, I believe, should amount to just something over, uh, close to 100 grams of protein here. So that should be pretty decent. I've got the rice in the microwave at the moment. I've got the broccoli boiling in the water, which actually looks pretty funny. Like, I feel like this just looks like really sad. I don't know. Let's tuck in. Also, because chicken and rice isn't that feasible for breakfast, what I have in the morning is a scoop of protein with water and post-workout, I have a smoothie, which the recipe can be found on a short I posted. So check it out if you wanna see how I make this smoothie. I'm on day two of eating now, just chicken and rice. This is my lunch. And something I noticed was if I eat only this, so chicken and rice for lunch and dinner, and only a smoothie and a scoop of protein, in the mornings for breakfast. I'm gonna be sitting at like 2000 calories every day, which I feel like is below my maintenance. So I should be expecting to lose weight by the end of this um, <clears throat> and potentially be a bit leaner. Back again, Tuesday night dinner, chicken, and uh, quite a sad amount of rice. So what I've been doing is just heating up leftover rice in the microwave and 
because I'm an idiot, I didn't realize that eventually I'd run out of rice. So, and I can't bother cooking more now because I'm too hungry. So, oh my god. Well, I'm eating chicken and rice once again. Another day, another chicken and rice. I've got the whole plate set up at the moment. I've even got the chicken and the rice on the same plate, which is pretty cool. Cook some more rice, so big up my thing. Um, but yeah. Eating the chicken with the rice is actually a lot easier to eat, I guess. If you are going on a strict diet, it can be something to keep in mind for the first time at the same time. <coughs> or dinner. Or dinner. Excuse me, rice is hot. hot. Anyway, I've got the bro broccoli. I've got the broccoli cooking in the, in the boiling water on the pot at the moment. So that should be coming soon. But yeah, guys, another meal, another chicken and rice. And you know, I can't lie to you. It's getting a bit like I'm really craving just like a burger or like a steak or something that's a bit different, you know? So it is, <laughs> it is starting to creep up on me. Like the whole, I'm getting bored of it and the blandness of it. I mean, I'm not too tired of the chicken to be honest. Like it's, well, I am. I mean, it's more so I'd just rather something else than me not liking this, you know what I mean? Still go through with it. Really craving a steak. Excuse me speaking my mouth for it. Oh, how rude of me. Got the broccoli going now, got the veggies going. Um. By the way, the broccoli I'm eating is just like, literally just like raw broccoli. Back again, rice, chicken, water's boiling to put the broccoli in later. Don't know what more to say to you, to be honest. I'm fucking sick of it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> it's actually not that bad. So this is my last chicken and rice meal except minus the rice because again i ran out and i can't be bothered cooking more i can't be bothered. Uh, we've got the chicken and this will be our last meal last chicken and rice last chicken i think i already said that but anyway um how do i feel i actually feel quite good today the gym session that i hit was well just to provide some context the gym sessions i've had recently maybe like the past week or two been a bit flat, haven't really gotten stronger on any lifts, haven't really been feeling too well, but that might be attributed to something else, I'm not sure. Uh, I will cover that at the end. But today I had a quite a decent session. Felt good for the first time in a while. So, you know, you go through those sessions that sort of just very average. This one was decent. So potentially the chicken could have something to do with that. I've been avoiding all junk or garbage. Could be something to continue into the future. I'll definitely be eating chicken for lunch into the future, chicken and rice for lunch. For dinner though, it'll just be whatever mum cooks and I'll be eating whatever mum cooks tonight. So hopefully that's something decent after a week of just, I wouldn't say bland chicken, but you know, I'm, I'm feeling some variety now. But there we go, last one. It's been real. So we did complete the full week of just eating chicken and rice. And just to go through the statistics that we were tracking over the week, we started off at 73.2 kilograms. And by the end, so the spawning was 71.8. So I lost 1.2 kilograms. I do think that the diet definitely put me in a deficit every day, if not most of the days. And that obviously would have contributed to some of the weight loss, no doubt at all. Second thing I wanted to touch on was how it actually made me feel. Towards the end of the week, that last session, so Friday, Friday morning session was a really decent one. You know, I felt a lot more concentrated, felt focused, felt decently strong as well. You know, that feeling you get when you're just like, yes, I am lifting this weight with competency. Like I had that feeling, felt good, great pump. And just like, it just felt good essentially. I think the most important thing was my physique. I think there's a definite change in the physique, perhaps not that much, but I feel like I definitely got leaner. For some reason I got more tanned as well. I don't know how. I was like burnt on Saturday, but whatever. But yeah, I did look better. Not surprisingly, I don't think, because if you're in a deficit, 
you're probably gonna lose fat. But yeah, I think something to keep in mind. So if you've got something you need to be shredded for, maybe you've got maybe you've got some event that you want to be looking on point for. Um, maybe try the CBR diet for the week leading up to that event, and you might lose a bit of body fat. So something to keep in mind. It was a decent week.